What's up everyone? This is day 12 to my 30 videos in 30 days. My personal challenge, I'm doing this. We're in quarantine right now. I think we're on like day 15 uh, for the quarantine. And yeah, <laughs> it is what it is right now. You know, uh, probably talk about that later. But right now what I do want to talk about is investing in your business and properly investing into it. And one thing I was thinking about was how do you convince a client or believe a client should properly invest inside their business if you aren't able to, if we aren't able to? Uh, you know, I do remember when I was new and I still keep an eye on my budget. I still do. But even when I was new, I was always looking for shortcuts and I was so hesitant to spend 40 or $50. And I'll see posts by other web designers trying to get by without spending any money. And the thing is, is how important is your business? And if you're not willing to invest and put money into your own business, how can you expect a client to? See, I, after I finally just like, I, I look at it now as an investment and I do, I don't hold back. I, I'm, I'm frugal and I keep an eye on my budget and I wanna make sure that I'm spending money in the right places. But if I need to hire someone to do some copy, if I need to pay for some software, or if I need to pay for like, I mean, we got several bills a month right now, and they're all helpful to the business. Now I try to minimize as much as possible, but these are necessary. They make our business run uh, smoother, better. Uh, we don't buy uh, cracked or fake software because we want to make sure we got the best, you know, something that's steady and that's going to work. So if you're not willing to do that, how can you expect to get clients that are willing to do that? And if you got a client that feels like spending 40 or $50 on some software is too much and they don't want to spend it, then you got to like really think like, do you really want to work with a client that's not willing to invest in their own business? So really think about that. How much is your business worth? Is spending a couple hundred dollars if that's going to help you save time, that's going to help you move along faster, be more productive, get more done. And eventually, in the long run, you make more money off of that investment. Why aren't you willing to do it? And why aren't are you working with clients not willing to do it? So definitely a serious business. If you want to grow, if you care about your business, you want to put into it, you got to invest into it. Uh, there's no shortcuts around it. You can be smart, frugal but it takes investment. Once you do it, you know, and this is this is for anyone who is not at that stage yet, who doesn't want to like subscribe for a subscription to HubSpot for $50 a month, or doesn't want to sign up to like harvest time tracking and invoicing platforms for $20 a month. And you know, and all these like expenses that comes along with, uh, you know, with uh, the tools that help us do our, our, our business better, if you're not willing to spend that money yet, how can you expect your clients to be willing to invest in the business? But once you do get over that hurdle and start to put that money into your business, it changes the way you look at it. It changes your reaction when a client is hesitant to spend a little bit of money for a plugin or a little bit of money for some other program. So really think about it. If you haven't invested yet, uh, start to start to look into it. What what will give you the best return on your investment? What will help you out with your business? So that's it for my piece tonight. It's late night. I don't even know if this made any sense. Probably could have prepared for it, but basically what I'm doing is 30 videos in 30 days. At first, I was just basically coming out here and talking because my main purpose to do this is uh, for learning and growth. Get comfortable behind the camera learn how to even use a camera, learn how to set up all the stuff. I'm still working on lighting, still working on my uh, background. I just barely learned how to edit like a few weeks ago, you know, uh, really. <laughs> and so like the whole 30 of 30 has been just for practice. But now, uh, now I want to make sure I'm at least putting some sort of quality out. So you know, every day I'm learning new lessons. It's, it's constant learning and growing inside web design and running a web design business. And I want to share that with other people because uh, when I started, the last thing I learned 
was the business side, how to really take care of clients, how to uh, grow the business, how to do marketing and sales and put together systems and processes, how to hire people, all kinds of things that you need to learn in order to help the business grow. That all came last. And I want to help other designers and developers out there not have to wait to have that part of your development and learning last. You can learn that while you're learning design, while you're learning development, while you're building your portfolio. You can learn the business side now and move along so much faster than I did. You could be, you could jump ahead of me. All right, so, and that's what I really want. I mean, it, if I see somebody jumping ahead of me, all it does is push me to work harder, you know? So I definitely want people to jump ahead of me, for sure. So that's it for me tonight. Anyways, have a good night. Uh, see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.